Okay, everyone. Um, today we are playing Looming Legacy with Zaki and stuff, and we're gonna check out the new route, aka Route Eight. And so, and we also got fishing rods, so we can go fishing now. I mean, like, uh, <laughs> let me let me switch our uh, Sujigon out with. Let's just we haven't really tried out the, that boy. Hello everyone. Recorrect just made him say everything, so it's actually everyone. Uh, oof. Uh, he doesn't know what to think of me. So. Uh, we're gonna check out Route 8. We kind of went ahead a little bit just to scope things out, so. And we have our little cool dude with steam coming out of his tail. I'm finishing the battle Go to go into the story. Okay. Well, we guess we're gonna continue now. Where am I? How did I even get here? One man's walking the streets, and the next thing I know, I'm all the way out here. Finn, no. What? Wow, that is... Okay. I like to talk to everyone in case they have something. The resort is the best. It's built right next to this beautiful lake. A loot corp has a lab out on the water that allows visitors to ride a submarine all the way down into the lake's trenches. They even let you keep the stuff you find down there. Okay. There is a man here in the resort that can craft a looming couch to just use items found at the bottom of the lake. I stopped by earlier and he made some discs for me that are great at capturing fire type looming. What's that? Oh, giant beast. That's what it is, it's a giant beast. <laughs> that, that is funny. It's like an evolved lava poop. Well, oof. I got it from Zeki. It. I haven't tried it yet, so it's probably pretty powerful. Oh. Okay. Um. Um. Well. I'll go this way. We're just gonna go this way. This place is totally sweet. It's not too far from the city and not too far from the beach. Today I'm visiting the UMV thing. Tomorrow I'll be at the beach. Okay. Hello. Hi. We're gonna head this way first. I'm gonna, I wanna see what's up here. I like to explore everywhere. Just in case someone has something. Cause you'll never know what you can find. If I can even talk. I'm exhausted watching a TV from home in the city. When I watch TV from this resort, however, I feel at ease. Oh, okay, no one cares about you. Dang, I thought you would thought you would give me something. Dude. I like to look everywhere. Just in case. So we're gonna check out in here. Brought my diving suit so that I could dive in the lake while I'm here. Diving in underwater mining vessel is a nice experience, but I have more fun when I'm in the water myself and get to interact with the underwater lumians. Of course, I don't get to go as deep or stay down as long as you can when you dive with the UMV. All right, we're gonna try, uh, cross this bridge the lab. I guess there's something mysterious about this lake and Pollute Corp is doing what they can to learn about it. Visitors that borrow Pulu's underwater mining vessels to dive to the bottom of the lake and mine for rare things. I went and tried it for myself and found something scientists call petrolith. It's basically a fossilized piece of ancient lumen that contains its preserved DNA thanks to some shards of soul crystals that clung to it. They have a machine that supposedly can resemble bring lumens back to life. This is just like the Pokemon Brick Bronze um, one. <sighs> This is like, 
I used to love this place because like I would always you'd always get a free dive every day and then you'd have to pay Robux. But then every day you'd get a free dive and it was so cool. Come to Laguna. Searching for what has been left behind by nature. Using the submersible known as the underwater mining vessel or UMV, you have sent many people deep below the surface of which whatever they may find within the while collecting rare artifacts, you may come across objects you call petroliths. Yeah, yeah, I know that. So we offer only one free ride per person per day. If you would like to dive more than that, you must purchase your own UMV. To build the surface, you may search the walls and the trenches for shiny spots in the wall, indicating hidden objects. Simply click on a shiny spot to begin mining. The UMV is equipped with small controlled explosive charges, wow, as well as a drill. You may use the explosives once per day. The explosives will create a large hole instantly, but will cause a lot of damage to the wall. The drill is what you will be using most of the time. When enough damage is done to the wall, it will collapse, and anything you fail to dig up will be lost. After you are finished or run out of battery power, the UMV will bring you back here. You may keep any of the artifacts that you find. Do you like to take a diver now? Yeah, sure. Awesome, let me help you get set up in the UMV. Let's go take a dive. Okay, so. Oh, yeah, 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 I remember this from Pokemon Brick Bronze. I know exactly what to do. What is this? Let me hide the stupid, the chat. It's kind of. Okay. Whoa, this one's kind of big. I've been dug up. Obtained a purple void stone, petrolith egg A, and a petrolith. Ooh, we got some petroliths. Guys, I. revives in a single session. If you revive more Lumians than you can carry at the moment, worry not. The rest will be sent to Lumian care. You can always come back to me, and I will do more than willing to explain it again. You interested in... Oh, wait. Okay. Shut up! I want to go get some new Lumians. Okay. Oh, 
this is like a puzzle piece. Wow. Okay, so if we build a so um going to those look like they would go together. Oh yes, yeah, so we made one. Okay. I think those would go and then that would go right there. And then um I don't have enough of these, but I think I have enough of these. Cause I definitely don't have enough of these. Yeah, I think I need like four of those. Wow. Okay. Three loonies were revived. They were sent to Lumian Care. Yay! All right, let's look here. This way we go. I'm still talking to everyone and no one can stop me. Okay, so. Uh. See, they might have some advice. They might give me something. My wife grew up in a big city, but it didn't take much convincing to get her to move out here. We're still close to Sephiroth City, but it is much more tranquil on this little resort. Nice. Can you believe what happened to Anthean City? I lived there when I was a kid. Can't even persuade my husband to go and visit it. Not even after all they've done with it since. I think I missed something. I don't see anything though. Oh my god! Give me that. I told you you should go in everywhere. I found a UMV battery. I'll go check that out after this video ends. Right! Ooh, it's over here. Oh, it's just some water and stuff. We can go. Look at the new way of fishing, guys. It's real cool. It's kind of hard, but it's like it racks your brain up. Getting ready for whatever fishing counter. But most of it is Goffies. Like in Pokemon Rift Runs, how most of it was Magikarp. Okay. Hi, random dude. You follow this path, you will reach Bob's Pond and the Capture Disc Craftsman. Just finish crafting some special new Capture Discs from the Void Stones. <gasps> you can craft Capture Discs from Void Stones. Okay, interesting. Um, Bob's Pond. This place is amazing. There's a pond behind the shop that contains a large variety of rare colored goppies. It's the only place in the world where you can find this many colorful variations of goppy. You can also trade your fishing rod for one of a different color inside for free. Hmm. Hey there, welcome to Bob's Pond. The pond itself is not quite open for business yet. I'm really sorry about that. In the meantime, you are free to swap your fishing rod for one of a different color. Are you interested? Yes! Okay, what color? So we have a blue one. I like the color. Ooh, this one looks real nice. I think I'm gonna have this one. It's a really nice color. Have a good day. Hey, hey did you come to check out the pond project? I'm sorry to say it isn't quite ready yet. Pond will open. Let's see. Ah, yes, the pond will open when it's done. Wow, that does not help at all. The pond will open when it's done. Okay, fine. All right, let's go. Continue on our journey. Um. Hello. Oh wait, no, I already talked to you. Okay. No, no, no. I don't want to talk to you anymore. Stop. Stop, no, I'm gone, okay? <laughs> okay. Hi. You're the person who called about the ghost on the pier. I'm not helping you. Oh, that wasn't you. Then nice to meet you, my name is Cal. 
I'm the local capture disc craftsman. That's right, as the title implies, I craft Lumion capture discs. My discs are not like the ordinary capture discs you can buy at the Lumion trainer stations. My discs are special. I can make you some if you bring me some void stones. Void stones are mysterious rock formations that can be found here at the bottom of the lake. You can collect them by taking a trip down into the lake's trenches using the UMV. You don't know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what it is. Anyway, if you come across any void stones, just bring them to me. I have void stones. Would you like to craft some void stones? Yes. Hmm. So we could make um, so, I don't have enough gray void stones. Oh, okay, I see. So, wave disc. It says a unique kind of capture that has been designed to, key, to be keen at capturing water type lumions. It <sighs> uh, has been designed bug type. Okay, okay, interesting. <laughs> I think I'll get a. Uh, a volt disc because I always have trouble with electric types. Give you three volt discs. Yes, there you go. Um, we'll take some wave debt. Well, actually, nah. Um, a terra disc. We don't have any. Um, so designed ice types ooh i'm not good at ice types either so i'll take it too yes and we can actually buy some dark types double okay yes yes okay we'll come back later for now let's continue because we have a video to make lol Okay, let's see now. Um, have we gone in there yet? And yes, we've talked to her. Okay, let's head on on this path right here. Ooh, this place has some... Oh! <laughs> Lumion battle. I've been standing out here all day with my Lumions without wearing any sunscreen. <laughs> the training we've done will pay off, though. No, it won't. You're gonna burn your skin off! Sunscreen. It's a shrimp. So guys, we were left at a dead end, because apparently they only came out with Route 8, so, oof. <laughs> 